walk on through it. It was sort of my salvation during the pandemic. Um, it was an assignment I had before the pandemic started. I was going to showcase it in June of 2020, which obviously got canceled and postponed. Um, but I was invited to come to the Metropolitan Museum of Art to kind of observe the art. And then if I had an idea for creating a piece, they would help me produce it at, at the Met. And I had never been to the Metropolitan Museum of Art before. And I was 43 years old and I was like, oh God. So the only show I could do, I thought, was to share that story. And it's grown into a musical. I call it a concert goal. It's kind of like a concert and a musical have a baby. Um, it's, it's sort of a musical fever dream on my appreciation, discovery of art, life, love. I've been in the, in the, in the business, I got my equity card 27 years ago this coming summer. And I'm, I've always wanted to make something to leave in the canon of musical theater. And this is that thing that I'm really excited to share with everybody. So keep an eye out for Walk On Through. I think our Instagram is Walk On Through Musical. Um, you know, they, we're, we're, we're working away. We've got a really amazing team doing the work. That is wonderful news. What an accomplishment. Um, that's congratulations. Mm -hmm. You must be so proud of that. That's it's like your baby, I'm sure. So that's amazing. It really is. I'm really proud of it. It's also my baby that I've I've been holding and working with and be like, okay, sit up straight. Okay, now bend over. Now try this. Let's try this. You know, it's when you're creating a piece of art, it's like, I love you, but you can be better. I gotta try to make, you know, it's it's and and that's the thing I identified so much with all of the artists. I was we go to the museum and we see and we think, oh, it's just this finished thing, it's this masterpiece the anguish and the toiling and the repainting and the throwing away and the number of canvases that were before and the studies and the research and the, the emotional investment i'm realizing now with walk on through that i'm i understand more what it is to try to make something and, and leave something but I, I i'm really proud of it and i hope to share it with everybody very soon that's such a beautiful way to think of it. I, I'm guilty of like, sometimes I'll go to the museum, I'll be like, oh my gosh, some of this is kind of boring. But I like that way of thinking about it of, and that's why I was like, oh, this seems really cool. It seems like you and I have that in common. I don't think I've been oh, in yes. a year for eight years. And I've, I've not oh, been. Oh, oh yeah, no, my my attention span is that of a fruit fly. It's like, oh, what's this, what's, you know, my art education is zero was a, an assignment to just kind of like walk through and go, what if nothing you feel or think is wrong? Write it down. Nothing is wrong. You don't have to know anything. You don't have to, because there's a lot of posturing that happens in museums. People like, oh yes, look at the light, look at the whatever. And you're like, oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know the history of these people's lives. I didn't study it. I was like in choir singing songs and in acting and running around pretending to be whoever. <laughs> But now I have such a, a better growing appreciation of what it is to create, to be an artist, to sit in creative process. And the show really is met, uh, I said like meta, in that it is what I learned in musical form on stage. And I'm so proud of the score and the story. And, and I wove in the pain of what I went through during that time of trying to write it and feeling really alone and I, I I'm very encouraged with the response we've had so far and and I can't wait to I can't wait to play you Sheila some of the music it'll be really fun when we are in the theater together <laughs>